Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, hey, my name is Brittany and I talk all things of beauty here on my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be telling you all my top five favorite indie brands when it comes to eyeshadow palette formulation. So if you like eyeshadow palettes, if you like indie brands, then please stick around for today's video. So you can give me any and every reason to talk about eyeshadow palettes and I will. I thought this would be super fun, helpful, and just kind of, I don't know, we can just chit chat about our favorite indie brand eyeshadow formulation down below. Please let me know your top favorites as well. There's so many wonderful brands, but these are just like, you know, my top favorites, the ones that I reach for all the time. So this is not a ranking. Please don't make me do it. I mean, I could, but like, don't make me do it. <laughs> these are just like my top five favorites. So I'm just going to dive in and go with what I see right in front of me. And this is Fantasy Cosmetica I adore this brand. I have three of the four palettes that they currently have and I love them all. They're so much fun. My honestly like my favorite is the Druid palette because it's just like the perfect color story for me. I love the formulation. I fell in love with this brand because of the shimmers. The mattes are fine. They're really pretty. And as the brand is expanding and growing, their formula is also getting better as well. But this color story just speaks to me. I love how sparkly the shimmers are and shifty. Very nice formulation. I'll go ahead and show you the other three. This is the Bard palette right here. Such a lovely fall color story. How pretty. Some of these shimmers are just like next level. It's obviously what drew me into the brand and why I keep purchasing all the palettes. I do want to pick up their newest one, which is the Rogue palette. I just haven't been able to yet. This one right here is the Sorcerer palette. Definitely not like my color story, but still like the formula. It's so much fun. And every time I create a look with this palette, I love it. And it's so beautiful. The shimmers are so sparkly. And the reason why I love this brand in particular, like the shimmers are very squishy, like texture. I don't know. I just love it so much. And they're so shifty and fun, unique. Just really adore the size of the palettes and just the, like the overall aesthetic of the brand. I'm not like a gamer or anything, but I think I think it's really fun the way that they create their palettes and I definitely want to pick up a rogue as soon as I possibly can. Uh, let's now talk about Glaminatrix. I currently own two palettes from them. I actually own the U Beauty, but it just hasn't shipped to me. So I like virtually own it, you know, <laughs> I've bought it. It just hasn't shipped yet. Um, I bought it. Let's see. I think early March is whenever I placed my order. So I will be definitely super excited whenever that one finally gets to me. And also they are coming out with the Into the Night palette. I'm getting it. It looks freaking beautiful. So let's first start off with the first palette that I ever purchased from the brand. And this is the Nearly Natural palette. So I love the packaging so much. Dude, by the bunny she created this packaging it's so so pretty and then on the inside this is just like the perfect neutral palette for like just the perfect soft makeup lover but you can really amp it up with some of these like elevated neutrals how they are very shiny sparkly um just very super intense without getting like sparkle fallout all over you they're just like a lovely formulation the mattes in here are just so easy very beginner friendly pigmented they blend well i love their mattes so so much and this is just one where Yes, it's a neutral palette, but like you, there's so many different tones and so many different looks you can get just within this one palette. So this is initially why I fell in love with the brand because the formula is so, so pretty. It just, it's a step up from every other neutral palette that I own in my collection. So definitely like a goodie here. And then they recently discontinued their Glaminate, or I'm sorry, their Nocturnal palette right here. And I had to get it. <laughs> I had been eyeing this palette for so, so long. I'm so glad that I finally purchased it because wow. This palette like knocked my socks off. It is seriously incredible. The shimmers, very similar to the other, the natural palette. These are very sparkly. There are a few shifty shades in here, but just I love their color stories. They're so unique and beautiful. And I love the tones as well. I just look at that. I don't know, like this murky green with like this mustard and this like fun, different brown. It's got a little bit of green in it. And these blues are here in the purple with this deep shade and you got a black. I'm telling you, there's so many different looks you can create with this palette. It's definitely a goodie. Um, but this one is discontinued. But I'm so glad I picked it up because literally like this put the brand like way up obviously on the very top because I love it so much and I reach for them all the time and I cannot wait to get the other two palettes in my collection because they just look so beautiful. Next let's talk about Odin's Eye. So I love them so much. I have quite a few palettes from them. 
Uh, let's see. My favorite would probably be the Merry Christmas. I really do. I would like to do an Odin's Eye ranking. Let me know if you'd like to see that. But there's just something so easy, I would say, about the Odin's Eye formula as far as the mattes and shimmers go. The mattes are super unique and pigmented, but yet not too pigmented. You can still build them out or like build them up in a way. They're very unique in tone. I just love the matte formula. It's very kind of like similar to like Natasha Denona, how it like almost blends itself out in a way. So I really do like that about the mattes in here. Well, all of their mattes in my opinion. Um, but this is just like a step up from all the other palettes, but definitely like I love their shimmers. That's honestly what really separates the brand, the shimmers and the color story. So as far as the shimmers go, they have a very unique formulation. They are, I would say thin, but not thin in a bad way. You'll have to let me know if you agree with that. Whenever you like put your finger in the shimmer, you don't get like a lot of thickness texture on your finger. It's a very thin, very flattering formulation like it's not going to enhance texture i don't think it would crease on you i just love their shimmer formula it is so so beautiful some of them are shifty they have sparkles um i love the way that they curate their color stories that's another reason why i really enjoy the brand because i'm typically not someone who loves color color can intimidate me but there's something about the way they do color it inspires me and it's like flattering it doesn't look crazy on me um i don't know i just really enjoy the way they carry their color stories these are the last two i have this is the sea talk palette with laura may beauty this one i did not think i would love it as much i love this palette with all these like this neutral quad and then you got your fun colors this formula, I love it so much. Um, this Flora Story, I don't know, I don't think you can get these anymore, but there's something different I will say about the mattes in here. These, you have to build them up more versus all the other palettes, but I don't know, I still really enjoy it, and the shimmers are just perfection, and I love the multi-chromes, just such. I just love Odin's Eye, I can't wait to see. Every time they come out with a collection, I'm like, wow, that's a nice one. <laughs> okay, so I got two more brands to talk about. Um, I'm going to talk about, let's see, Give Me Glow next. I fell head over heels with this. All my palettes, I have so many singles, so I don't have like a palette to show you because like I switch up all my palettes. This is the Juicy Olive palette. This was like a very monochromatic green palette and I switched it up. I put different shades in here, but just like their formula is next level. Their mattes are so pigmented and beautiful. They're so easy to work with. They're just like next level pigment, but like easy in a way. I'm just going to kind of show you the color stories that I've curated, but the, for me, the star of the show are the shimmers. And I'll also love the mattes as far as like, I can put this as blush. Sometimes I will contour with these shades or like use the white to clean up. I just, I adore their formula. It's one of my favorites, obviously. That's why I'm mentioning it, but this one is just like kind of an oddball singles. I've bought several, and then the last one right here, here's some more. I just, I love them, obviously, because I've, I've purchased so, so many, but, like, let me show you why I love them so much, so, let's see, I'm going to swatch this one right here, let me pick it up, because I don't remember the shade, this is, oh, don't want to break it, Party Monster, I'm just going to do, like, a soft swatch, um, and just kind of show you, like, the pigmentation level to some of these shimmers, just how intense like this isn't for the faint of heart you have to love shimmers <laughs> and like metallic they're just so incredible so i just really love how shifty they are next level sparkle like you're gonna stand out let me get another one um let's see right here like look at that high shine like you just don't see this from so many brands how like in tints and i've got several questions about swatches like i don't use vaseline or all that stuff it's just you know my skin but like look at that you can see the shift as you swatch it I don't know man there's just something extra special about give me glow and their formula it just really they they stand out compared to other brands I'm still kicking myself for not getting the haunted pumpkin palette I can definitely see myself adding that onto my collection it's just I don't know hopefully one day I'll have that if it's still available but now let's jump in to number one I saved like best for last or like my top favorite for last this is Adept Cosmetics and I'm sure y'all would have already guessed my favorite but I have got several palettes from Adept as you can see I purchased all of these except for two two were sent to me um but yeah let's just dive into why I love Adept so much so I'm gonna start off with the reason 
right here, Heather Austin palette. Uh, the reason why I absolutely love Adept is because you can get multi-chromes like for an affordable price point. So this palette has got several multi-chromes in here, just so special and unique. Like you can see the flips in the pans. I mean, green to yellow to gold. Like they're so fun and unique, but still you can get very wearable looks with this palette. You can dress it up, but as far as like Adept goes, it just, they knocked my socks off because just, I, I had no idea like there were shadows like this magical, you know what I'm saying? So once I tried Adept, I was like, wow, sold. Like <laughs> I literally love them. And then I kind of fell into, oh, let me look at all the shifty shadows from all the other brands. And for example, like Terra Moons, uh, Cleona, Divina, like a lot of brands that sell single shadows. This multi-chrome right here is like literally one of my favorites ever. It is so freaking pretty. Um, but anyways, their shadows are super expensive. Obviously, multi-chromes are more expensive. So whenever I found out that Adept, like you could get multi-chromes, like I think this palette was, this is the Aero palette, what, like 60 Dollars and it's full of multi crumbs. Whereas, like, if I just bought three or four Terra Moons, you know, like I can get a whole palette. So, I really do like how adept they have multi crumbs within their palettes where you don't have to break the bank, you know, to get super fun, shifty, sparkly shadows. Where, like, as far as the other brands, I feel like you could just spend a hundred and only get just a few shadows. So, I really do. That is one aspect of adept that I absolutely fell in love with was the fact that I could get super fun multi-chrome shimmers for not like you know a hundred dollars you know what I'm saying and I got a whole color story super nice luxe packaging so that's just a feature that really made me fall in love with the brand I just guys like look at this this is the most intense metallic shimmers I've ever seen it's like neutral colors but like elevated intensity so that's just why Another reason, like, Adept really stood out from all the other brands because their packaging is luxe. They had multi-chrome, super cool color stories, just nice curated. Um, this one is the Plain Jane Remastered. There's so many different shifts, like, that I'm seeing versus, like, the camera. It's seriously incredible. Uh, let's see. Here's another one. I'm just kind of showing you all the palettes while we are here in case you're curious because I got um, a comment saying just, like, show the inside of the palettes. Um, Omunet, which this one's being discontinued, and then I have some singles right here. But yeah, that wraps up my Adept collection. Like, look at that. Seriously incredible. So, you're gonna have to let me know what are your top five favorite um, indie brand formulas. So, Fantasy Cosmetica, let's see, Glaminatrix, Give Me Glow, Odin's Eye, Adept, those are my top favorites. Obviously, I have several others like Nomad, Simply Posh, uh, Gourmand Girls. Let's see. There's just a uh, Sydney Grace. Love Sydney Grace. What's up, beauty? Like, there's so many cosmic brushes, but there's some brands where I only own one palette, so I didn't want to mention them. But seriously, I just absolutely love indie brands. Once you have tried indie brands, like, there's no going back. You know what I'm saying? So, I do hope that you found this video fun, entertaining, because I do get questions a lot asking because I do try a lot of eyeshadow palettes like what's your favorite like I need to know so these are just like my top favorite five brands where if I that I reach for like all the time so anyways that's gonna do it for today's video please don't forget let me know what are your favorites wherever you are in the world I hope you're doing well I hope that you are healthy happy and safe stay beautiful bye guys